Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Sensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. From general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. Our topic for today is matter. In English, ang ibig sabihin ng matter ay an affair or situation under consideration or a topic. Pero sa science, we have another definition for matter. In science, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything you see is matter. For example, we have water. Water is everywhere. Maging sa bahay nyo, merong tubig. Tubig na iniinom nyo o tubig na ginagamit nyo pag naliligo kayo. Water is matter. And it is composed of tiny particles called molecules. This is a water molecule. Remember H2O? That is actually a molecule of water. In return, molecules are composed of even smaller particles called atoms. In a water molecule, H2O, we can see hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Alam nyo ba na ang water or tubig is the only known substance that can exist in the three states of matter? It can exist as solid, ice, liquid, melted ice, and even gas as water vapor depending on the temperature of its surroundings. In our discussion of matter, pag-uusapan din natin ang tungkol sa phases of matter. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng phase? A phase refers to the particular state of a piece of matter. Depende sa pagkaka-arrange ng molecules, matter can be solid, liquid, or gas. Let's start with solid. Take a look at the animation. Solid molecules or solid particles are like tiny spherical balls fixed in a position which only vibrates. Therefore, solids tend to maintain a definite shape and size. Examples of solids are tables, chairs, your books. Solids can be classified into either amorphous or crystalline solids. Ano nga ba ang pinagaiba ng amorphous and crystalline? Let's start by defining amorphous solid. An amorphous solid is a solid in which the particles are arranged in a random manner. Examples of amorphous solids are rubber and glass. In this picture, we have glass. On the contrary, crystalline solids have molecules which are arranged in an orderly three-dimensional or 3D network. Examples are crystals and metals. In this picture, we have a metal ion. Next, we have liquid. Unlike in solids, the molecules in the liquid phase do not have a fixed position. There are small spaces in between liquid molecules. Therefore, liquids do not have a definite shape. The molecules of a liquid takes the shape of its container. Tingnan nyo yung picture na nasa likod. When you pour water, the water takes the shape of the container. Either cylindrical siya or cone-shaped siya, any shape, the liquid just takes the shape of its container. Bakit nga ba merong spaces in between sa molecules ng liquid? This is because 
of the weak attractive forces between their molecules. Dahil doon, liquids flow. Punta naman tayo sa gas. Just like liquids, gases can also flow. Kasi nga, yung molecules niya ay far apart from each other. Molecules of a gas are spaced apart than those of a liquid. And their molecules are always in motion and are free to move, bumping into each other or bumping into surfaces. Gases, therefore, fill all the space available to them. Isang concrete example ay yung balloon. When you blow into the balloon, the gas or the air that you put into takes the shape of the circular balloon because their molecules are very actively moving. Ano pa ba ang example ng mga gases? The air we breathe is also a gas. Yang nakikita nyo na smoke from a factory is also a gas. And in fact, sa mga bahay nyo, your LPG is actually a gas, only in its liquid form. In fact, LPG means liquefied petroleum gas. Bakit nga ba in its liquid form? That container, yung blue na tanke, is actually a pressurized container. The pressure in that tank makes the gas turn from gas into liquid. Pero pag binuksan nyo yung valve ng stove, dahil maguluto kayo, makikita nyo that what is inside is actually a gas. Yung blue na yan, that is its real form. In our discussion about matter, mahalagang malaman natin ang tungkol sa mass, weight, and volume. Ano nga ba ang mass? Mass is the amount of matter contained in an object. And we commonly use the unit kilograms or kg to quantify mass. Paano ba measure yung mass? Same lang ba sa weight? No, iba ang mass sa weight. We measure mass using a platform balance, a double beam balance, or a triple beam balance. Weight is the force acting on the object due to gravity. This is a force, not the amount of matter. Our weight is highly influenced by gravity. The unit used to quantify weight is newtons or n. We get our weight by using a spring balance or the commonly known weighing scale. We have volume. Volume is the space an object occupies. Most books commonly use cubic meter, m to the power of 3, as a unit. How do we get an object's volume? We can get by using a graduated cylinder or other apparatuses we can find in the laboratory. There are two common ways in which we can get the volume. Getting the volume of liquids and getting the volume of an irregular solid. In getting the volume, you need to familiarize yourself with the term meniscus. Meniscus is the upward or downward curve seen at the top of a liquid. If you have observed water, meron siyang parang curve pababa at curve na pataas. Pag kinukuha natin yung volume ng liquid, we will note the lower meniscus, yang nakabox. Letter A. For example, we have this. Sige nga, try nyo i-identify kung ano yung volume ng liquid in the graduated cylinder. The volume is 35.15 milliliters. Then how do we get the volume of a regular solid? We will use the displacement method. It is to measure the volume of solid of any arbitrary shape. We will only use this method if we are dealing with solids whose volume cannot be found out using the formula that we have learned in our mathematics. 
How do we do this? Simple. Isipin nyo merong kayong graduated cylinder which is partially filled with water. Then, you have an irregularly shaped object, yung red na object, and you will place that inside the graduated cylinder. If naobserve nyo, the water level increased or it went up. In order to get the volume of the solid that you place, you just need to measure this quantity. When you already get that measurement, you already know the volume of your regular solid. It's quiz time! You will be answering a 5-item quiz with 15 seconds per item para malaman natin kung may natutunan kayo sa discussion natin about matter. Let's start! Number 1. What is measured when we use a spring balance? Time is up. The correct answer is weight. We use a spring balance and the common weighing scale to get the weight of an object. What type of solid is a salt? The answer can be either amorphous or crystalline. The correct answer is crystalline because it has a fixed or orderly three-dimensional network. What is the only known substance that exists in three phases? These three phases are solid, liquid, and gas. Remember our trivia? The answer is water or too big. It can exist in solid form as ice, liquid form as melted ice, and gas form as water vapor.